A A A. Okay, so like the addict and fanboy that I am, I was here on the eShop looking through, you know, Xenoblade. I was looking through the little, um, you know, the little pictures and videos we get right here or the games. I was scrolling through this and when I got to Xenoblade 2, I noticed that the pictures here, the screenshots we get, don't actually reflect the final game. They're different from the final game, so it's like a beta version. So it, this is like, as far as I know, our only look at of what a beta version of Xenoblade 2 actually looked like. So, I mean, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so, okay, first one here is the battle. So, as you can see, First, let's talk about the enemy bar, the Nomad Rhinon. The outline has like a silver, it's more of like a silver metallic outline. While in game, you can see it's more purple to go along with the rest of the health bar. And then actually next to that, Rex's health bar, it, the level and the number are different from the final game. The health bar is actually a lot shorter, more compact, and smaller overall. In the final game, it's about the length of the actual party gauge, but in your screenshot here, it's a little bit shorter. So all the way at the left, you see it says level 20. The LV is actually stacked on top of the 20 in the upper left instead of in front of it like in the final game. And the font actually seems to be different too. I'm not sure what font is being used, but it, look, it looks like in the beta, the at least Rex and even all the numbers are bolded. I'm not sure if that's true, but it looks to be the case. And then Ira, her symbol actually doesn't seem to be that much different. Everything about Pyra down at the bottom left looks to be the same. Her pose is different, or at least it shows it's more, I don't know what it is. It just looks different. Maybe it's her facial structure that's changed, but Pyra, her little icon looks a little different. The font is the same. The size looks like the window with her name in it with the element and her weapon seems to be more transparent in the beta version than the actual finished game it's more opaque the design of the three rhombuses down there are the same and if you look in the final game compared to the beta version the damage the numbers the 242 and then the 1471 in the beta version is completely white with the shadow and in the final version the numbers have like a blue outline around them so I, I mean I guess that's just to make it more visually pleasing and then the most interesting part is down here on the arts oh my bad okay the arts actually have different icons here in the beta version for anchor shot it's literally just like an arrow going in a circle and a sword bash and a double spinning edge or just arrows pointing down. Now, to be fair, this could just be placeholder because, I mean, why would they give multiple arts the exact same icon? It'd be just be confusing. So I'm pretty sure those are just um, placeholders. But everything else seems to look almost exactly the same in here so let's move on to the next one which is actually right here in galad residential fortress or zone every time i see that name i think of galahad fortress but here actually uh in this screenshot i've got i got as close as i could to recreating the actual screenshot on the eShop and right off bat off the bat we can see there are many many differences 
First of all, there's no UI except for the map and everything up in the upper right corner. The current objective, uh, blade switch, the little tracker at the top where it says Kingdom of Tantal and all that. None of that is here. That could also just be for like placeholder or like just to show the areas. And then the mini map seems to have a blue like aura surrounding it and a blue kind of like a blue tint to it and the map seems to be sectioned off you see here in the final game versus the beta the map is more like the walkable areas are more bolded so they're more defined in the finished game and it seems like the map was sectioned off in coordinates and like in the coding the areas were like it's like a grid maybe and then each of the areas load in and out on the map the icon and the little viewing window seem to be the same except for here in the beta the little like cone to show you where you're looking at in game seems to be a lot more filled out and opaque than in the final game also as you can tell there is no cloud cloud c tide indicator like there's in the final game and the sun to show you that it's sunny outside for the finished game is different in the beta there's a little circle in the middle so it looks like a ring that's not in the finished game and there's also no there's no icon telling you what time of day it is instead it tells you right there it says afternoon where compared to the finished game it just shows a little icon of the moon and then again with the time you can see it's like over a blue tint there's like a blue tint over it it's hard to see but I zoom in here hopefully it doesn't look too bad but you can see it's just tinted blue coming from the corner and fading away as it gets further away up at the time in the beta version but not in the actual game And then finally, the last beta screenshot, I guess, is here in Drillbore Bridge. Again, I tried to get as close as I can to the actual thing. And everything actually looks about the same here. Nothing really looks different, except for, again, the whole mini map in upper right corner all look different. But I thought this was really interesting because normally here in the eShop for all these screenshots it's usually of the finished game they have screenshots of the finished game and showing us little previews but here for xenoblade 2 we actually get beta screenshots of what it would have looked like at first and then they changed it last minute i guess but it's really cool to see these and in here this picture is obviously just lower quality i mean the game's not done yet so like the models have lower resolution see like Nia you can't really make out the lines on her outfit Tora looks really like hand-drawn Jomark's fur looks weird but this is all just the game wasn't finished yet this looks the same in here Jin so I mean everything is still relatively the same but those three screenshots right here these three or what stuck out to me especially this one is i mean there's not too many changes but they're definitely noticeable but i just thought it was really interesting that they actually use beta screenshots for the game this was when the game was very close to being finished but obviously still being worked on but the trailers and everything right here are all of the finished game so i'm confused and i wonder why didn't they just use the finished game for these screenshots right here and also you can tell rex doesn't have pyra or mithra's sword on his back like pyra and mithra aren't even there following him where you can see in the screenshots that i have you can see mithra right here but they're nowhere to be found right here the sword isn't even on his back and the ui is gone again that could just be to show off the areas but I mean this is the closest we get to like 
beta Xenoblade 2 content. I never, I haven't seen anything about beta Xenoblade 2 content at all, except for this. This is like the closest we get. But yeah, this is just something interesting I wanted to go over and I thought I'd share it with y'all. I don't know, because maybe y'all haven't seen it. And maybe some of y'all are weird like I am and just go back and look at all the Xenoblade shit here on the eShop. And I've watched, I've rewatched the Xenoblade 3 trailer like eight times back to back. <laughs> and I've, I've actually noticed a lot more stuff in this, in these, you know, rewatches that I didn't in my initial watch of the trailer, or even the analysis. So I might make another video on the Xenoblade 3 trailer about things that I missed. But I mean, now that I had the chance to watch it on a bigger screen, I noticed a lot more. But yeah, this video is pretty short for today. I just wanted to point this out. That was really interesting. And uh, I actually want to start go hunting for more Xenoblade 2, like beta, beta content, or even just Xenoblade beta content in general. But yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for this video. I mean, I was thinking of some type of April Fool's video for today, but it was a really lame idea and it wouldn't, it would not have been fun to watch. It would have just been so stupid, but yeah, short video today. Uh, part two of the Zeke Bringer of Chaos coming tomorrow. Or hell, that might even come today. I might do a dual upload today. But, I mean, we'll see. But that's about it for now, so as always. Thanks for watching. Have a damn good day. Stay safe. Be well. Play some goddamn Xenoblade.